Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another episode of Tool Talk TV. Today, I have the absolute privilege of being joined by Tony Martin from Weha Tools, where we get to tap into his experience and dig into some of the Weha range. And don't forget, if this is the first time you've joined us on our YouTube channel, if that's where you're watching this, hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time we launch a new video. Before we get started, Tony, do you want to give a quick introduction to who you are and what you do at Weha? Thanks, Adam. I'm Tony Martin from Weha Tools. Worked for Weha for now over six years. Um, sold We Had Tools for many years prior to a different company um, and a privilege to come and meet everybody down there at Tool Talk. Absolutely love it. Guys, let's get into the Tool Talk. So Tony, the, the first product that I would love to discuss is the Speedy 2. Yeah. Um, but for those of you guys that are watching, uh, Tony actually shot a video uh, with us last year going into how to correctly use the Speedy. It's a new product category, it's not a screwdriver, it's not a power tool, it's a brand new product category unique to Weha. In the description below, if you're watching this on YouTube, go and watch that video if you want to know exactly how to correctly use the product. This is going to be talking about the innovations from the Speedy to the Speedy 2. Correct. Where do you want to start? This is the original Speedy 1. Okay. Fantastic product. It's been modified now. We listen to everybody that tells us what they would prefer. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, it was basic driver, electric, electric motor, various bits, 0.4 newton meter torque which is fine for some people, yep. but not fine for others. So we listened, as you can appreciate the manufacturer, it takes a long time to design these. Mm -hmm. So what we had to do is put it into practice, get it out into the field, see what people liked about it, didn't like about it, you know, um, and it took us two years in which to get it developed. And now we've developed version two. Nice. We still have version one, yep. sold differently in the old days. It was a set one, set two, and set three, yep. which um, came in a nice set, which, various accessories, mm -hmm. but a lot of people said they didn't need the accessories. They only use it, maybe it's one or two different bits, so why do you have to go and buy a 250 pound kit? I was gonna say, I guess the accessory price moves the well, whole price yeah, of up. It does. Yeah, I mean, okay. this particular kit here has all your torque drivers, it has 16 bits to charge your two batteries. If you're in a way a customer, they are interchangeable with the rest of the range, aren't they? Correct. Okay. But do you need that? So the answer was, mm, no. So what we do now is rather than sell you this, mm -hmm. we've created an accessory pack. So it's up to you whether you bespoke, how you want to do it. So version one. Yep. Version two, I'll just move this box over out of the way. Version two is slightly smaller from the original box of version one, as you can just see. I remember the box. So being a bit of an Apple fanboy myself, when you open like an Apple box up, there's a bit of an experience. Correct. Uh, and we took, I think we took 150 units of the original Speedy. Uh, and it came to our office and we opened one up and it was an experience. It, I'm so glad you haven't lost that. Well, we haven't. We did that a little bit like when I bought my watch. It was nice to have it and it's slightly different to the original phone. Yeah. So it is still got that level of um, expertise, shall we say. So basically what you got with the box, it's standard box, mm -hmm. nice size. Like you said, it's a lot smaller. It does give you on the back a few bullet points of what the Speedy does. Yeah. Like a little x-ray of the motor, the gearbox is steel, it's not plastic, mm -hmm. so they're not just going to grind away and disintegrate, so they've actually got a steel bits, where you've got your two bits that comes inside the kit, and also the most important one for me, I exaggerate me, is registering the product. It's a bit like track and trace, really. <laughs> very, if you register it, <laughs> we know who's got it, yep. basically. If there's any issues, we know which particular batch has an issue. So, around the speedy, Speedy 1 and Speedy 2, because people say can still buy version 1, is your serial number. Your serial number is there on your Speedy 1. And then Speedy 2, you do need glasses, mm -hmm. it's actually here. Now, they are just a sticker. Yep. So what it says is, as soon as you get it, myweeha.com. Myweeha.com. Yep. Yep. 12 months original warranty on the speedy handle. Yep. Other bits are tend to be more um, wear and tear, so yeah, you've got to be, that's got to be questionable. Have you broke it by misuse? Yep. But the actual speedy itself is a 12 month warranty from original and then an extra two years once registered. Once you've registered. But you don't register it the week before, 51 weeks into the purchase it because yep. then you could have been you know, it's not right. No, exactly. It'll be done so, immediately. Some, something doesn't stack up. Yeah, so, so I guess basically the I say, the can I have your point. receipt? Yeah, your receipt is the 21st of September. It was registered in December the 24th. Yeah. That could be because of Christmas. Yeah. So there's loads of reasons you've got to look at it, but the good thing about we have with it being a family-run business, we are human. Yeah, exactly. And That's you can talk to us. 
and you can tell from the relationship Correct. we've had with you in the past. So, first thing first, before we get into that, make sure you register myweha.com, and the serial number is around the neck of Correct. the product. Is it on the box anywhere? Well, leave it not, yes it is. It's very, very small, but the same barcode that's written on there is actually on the bottom of the box. Okay. Likewise with Speedy One, the original Speedy set, which the Pro Club's got, is it's on the box as well. Yeah. So it's on there. Once you've got that, we can trace who made it, when it was made, what batch of the products came in off. It makes life a lot easier for us. Yep. And in some ways, I suppose, in the future, if somebody said, I've had one nicked, maybe we could trace it. I don't know, but it's, at least it shows it's, it's registered. Exactly. So can I just show you the box now then? I'd love to. Right, so, inside the box, you open it up. And what it's got there is all the accessories that Speedy is designed for. So it's not just the driver, it's the 35 plus blades from mm -hmm. Torx, to uh, Hexagon, Spirit, uh, Slotted, Posi, all these different ranges in there. It's also got the availability to have a nut runner on, okay. which we'll discuss in a second, and also a torque driver. So when you buy Speedy... Is the nut runner new for the Speedy too? You can always use it on the old Speedy, okay. but because of the power... More and, torque now, more relevant yeah, to the nut runner. Guys, when it comes to point four, you still have to do it manually, okay. but it's a lot better for speed. It's not for speed, but if you get some, should we say, inferior threads on a ball, yeah. the old one used to stick. Okay. So you can still use it, but you can use it on Scrub PD1. It, on it, it depends on the end. So okay. basically what you've got on there, you open it up, and that actually becomes my speed, my we had a com. Nice, okay, another reminder. So it's actually there yeah. on it, but Maybe it's a men thing, but we never read instructions. But it's so we want to get to the tool, we want to play with us. Exactly, problem. well, I'm going to tease you now. <laughs> so, in here, a bit like you when you buy a new car, motorbike, it's a, it's a lot, it's a service man a manual on the product. Yep. And they always go in the bin. Yep. So now you've still got the famous L box. Yeah, people love that case. Brilliant, brilliant case. Um, the good thing about the case is, is you get one case. And this is here, you've got a, already got your original set, yep. Speedy. They click together. Nice. So you can actually have them marked up with on the front what you've got them. Like I carry mine with bits, yep. Speedies, accessories, and they just build up. And you just take them off, press the button, and they both come to one side. Nice. And you're not being funny, you can stand on it. <laughs> you won't break it. Not that you want to stand, but we're not the tallest of folk, are we? Right. You can, that's how strong they are. <laughs> So when you open it up, that's what you get. Unlike the original. I'm gonna ask a, a, a basic question in case someone is brand new to the, yep. the Weha family, is what is the difference between the yellow and the red uh, blades you've got? I'm gonna just show you that in one second, I will oh, cover that. We're you're just jumping ahead of yourself. <laughs> There's a typical, or the original set three. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's over the top, it's got everything in it, but this is what you get in set one now. This is Speedy 2. Yep. You get the charger with the battery. Two batteries, you get. You get two bits. Quick question from yes. memory. Is the first battery still tucked inside? No. Okay. Correct. <laughs> You're right. The original <laughs> one, we thought we were doing really, really good by yeah. putting the battery in the handle yeah. as an experience and everybody wanted to get to the speedy and through the box in the bin, yeah. which included the battery. Yeah. We had a couple so, of phone calls of people saying, I'm missing a battery and I'm like, check yeah. the bin. <laughs> so now what you get is a speedy, two batteries, the charger, and the two bits. A lot less than that. It's a lot less of a price. Yeah. I think retail on this is two hundred and fifty two pound plus the VAT normal. Yeah, okay. This kit was four hundred pound, including the VAT, then you end down to two hundred and fifty and then two hundred and thirty. So it's become now where you choose what you want. So basically exactly. you get that. What you can get is accessories. So you say, can if see. you're dealing with lots of people that already are part of the We Are Family and buy your products, it's a sort of buying duplicate sometimes if yeah. you're buying that kit. That's right, you okay. don't need to buy that. So now what you get... In you the can... old way it was set out, but now you can just buy just the product that you want yeah. and use your existing that's, accessories. That's right, existing yeah. accessories. So basically if you've got a set one or the original Speedy, it's not, dis it's not defunct, you can yeah, still yeah. use it. But what it is fandy is this little belt case. Heavy duty, clips on your belt. That's new to me. Yeah, that's beautiful. Cool. This has all come from end users telling us what they want. Yep. So it's not just a pouch. You open it up, as you can feel it's quite heavy. Your speedy's in there. That's it's actually your speedy one. Yep. 
you got your bit, torque driver, and a spare bit. So you've got place for two bits, as you can see in there, two bits, a battery, a torque driver. And the good thing about it is if you've got the speedy with the blade in, that's clipped under your trousers, it goes in like so. Smart. So okay. it can still be used. We're using it in and out, not worrying about taking the blade off every time you stick it in the pouch. Correct. And what you can then oh, do like is, that. if you're using it, say, you've got a slot deposit to MCB, whatever the guys want to call it for doing the torque adapters, you can push it in. That can just sit at the side. So you can use it as a driver. Yep. And if you, you do all your, back, your, your benches and other bits and pieces, straight in for your torque driver, in. I'll show you that in a second. Nice. But basically that's what that's designed to do. Just, just to focus on one point, and I know we covered it off in the previous video last year, but every time that you're putting the blade in, you're not just sticking it straight in, you are twisting it. Could you just yeah. talk about what, why? What it was, that was the original, original Speedy one. In the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning? <laughs> in the beginning, it used to have an O-ring there. Yeah. And that was version one, version one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what happened was, when you put the bit in, you had to push it and just sl slightly turn it because it's a hexagon, going into a hexagon. Yep. People were forcing them in. And if it was dry, unless it's been laid in plaster, the little O-ring got very, very dry. Yeah, okay. So when they pushed it in, it didn't do that. It popped the O-ring down into the base. Or it just went ping all over the floor. Yeah, and then it normally Tony, got a broken speedy, no you haven't, what's wrong with it? O-ring fell out, send them a little tiny O-ring. Some people said, put the O-ring in the box. Good idea, a couple of spares. They didn't, they changed it. Fair enough. So what they did was, and you can't really see in here, but the O-ring now is about three millimeters down. Okay. So now you can't force it in. You've got to hit this like hexagon. So it's a hexagon, a hexagon there. Oh, so it forced you, it you, see now? you to do that yeah, twisting action. It's, you can't put a socket, you know, like a socket onto a wrench yep. without getting it lined up correctly. So you can't force it anywhere. If it's not gonna, there you go. Uh, okay. I mean, you got, just basically push it in now. Nice. It's still got the O-ring in the bottom because it's the only way we can hold it in. Yeah. With also keeping water out. Yep. And making it easy. That's what we gotta do Makes there. Makes sense, nice. So remember, it doesn't come with a three pin plug because that's an expense. Mm -hmm. So, but a lot of guys now use the uh, sites charges and yep. USB chargers, your car charger. It actually charges quicker in the car, would you believe, than it does in the house. Interestingly, I don't know if you know, I just saw your Apple Watch. Uh, Apple no longer in, have their plug in there, because everyone's got USB right? plug sockets, and like you say, it reduces the overall cost of the product down, makes it more accessible for people that want well, yeah, access I mean, to speed it. The thing is, if you want to, you know, it's also the bulk. You've yep. got to carry, if you look at the old way, you've got to carry the old way, which is that. Yeah, okay which was a three pin plug, clever the way they did it because the two pin German one was just on the end. Nice. Or the American version. But it's another bulky item to carry. And that can just lie on your dashboard of your car if you want to. But it's always nice to have batteries charged for Speedy. Mm -hmm. But getting back to Speedy 2 and Speedy 1. That's what you get. You actually do get two bits inside. You asked me a while ago why. Yep. Different colours is what I wanted to know. Yeah, what we did was, before everything was the same colour, red. Mm -hmm. Which was great when it came to that, because that could do no more than 0.4 Newton metres. Okay. So basically, if I do this now, in my little test bed, it's not a MCB or an RCB, or it's my little test bed. Every um, time I see you, Tony, you've got something else to demonstrate toy. with. It's, yeah, yeah. it's good fun. It just lets you see, and also you can see the actual torque when it hits and stops, you can see it. If you listen, it stops at 0.4. Yep. And we said, that's useless. It's actually not. When you come to do a socket screw or anything like that with plastic, anything more, you can break through the socket. You yep. can pull the thread out of the socket. The security light, you can do the same. That's why it's been designed. Then what you then do is, if you want to do it anymore, you can do it manually. Can my boss, up, yeah, my boss can quite easily do nine Newton meters on this handle. I can't. Wow. I, I actually five. know how much that is because we used to have a little test rig here where yep. you could compare the different handles and the, the benefits yep. of the wheel. Well, the, the lot of ones that we have, he, did, he went to Cologne and it, we're all there with the new handle and he just went nine Newton meters. Getting back to the reason why we do that one. With Speedy 2. 
just actually just want to comment because you said some people said it was useless because it only went to 0.4. Do you know? Do you know how we managed to get lots of like traction with the original Speedy? Is when people had it. We we tested the product in the UK for you, uh, and we had 10 users that had it. And then we said, "Cool, can you send the units back?" <laughs> they and all want to keep it. As soon as they've not had it for a couple of weeks, they're like, "I yep. really miss this," because there's a really That's... specific use case for it that saves time. That's what we learned. I anyway. get messages every every week for guys. Unfortunately, we've got cattle tunnel and the various other injuries. That if anything, the battery goes or they lose it or whatever, they are desperate to get another one. Where do we get another one from? Because they do get used to it. Yeah. And yes, remember, these are the manufacturers that make drills. Mm -hmm. Unless they go, this is not a drill. Yep. It's a screwdriver, but it, it's, it's designed specifically to do a job. Yep. So get, getting back to what you said to me before, Speedy 2, same again, has your battery that goes inside. Mm -hmm. And if you can see inside there, it's slightly different. There's a connector on there. Yep. This is where all the electrics are inside here. It's a lot bulkier than the other one it goes inside. Connector on the end, seal on the end, tighten it up. That should be it. Okay, now. Well, I've you noticed you've got a switch on this one. You, that, that switch correct. doesn't exist on the correct. Speedy So one. basically what we do is, for, if we were going to be doing sockets like we just said for the Speedy 1, what yep. we do is we get that switch there and move it back. If you notice it's red, yep. the bit's red. Okay. So now what it is, that bit is designed to go with that torque. And that's, I guess so yes, yeah, so not so much for my demo, but if you start looking at point, uh, 2.5 bits and 3 millimeter bits, you don't want to be doing more than 0.4 newton meters, okay. otherwise you will bend them or possibly snap them. Yep. This is saying red, red, pull it back. So basically now, what you've got there is, I'll do one, I'll just loosen that one off, because that was the 0.4, remember? Yep. Now on this particular demo here, it shows you the difference between the torque, it's a spring. Ready? So I'm just going to hold it like I normally do. I normally just hold it like so, and twist. Yep. Now I know that's 0.4 newton meters, because that's what it's designed to do. Yep. If you notice it went, then slowed down and kept on going. I'll do it again to show you. Yep. Loosen it manually. Yeah, but you can see it'll do that if you keep your finger on it. It's got a lot more power than it yeah. used to have. The other one would just die off. This one doesn't, so ready? It'll stop at 0.4 newton meter, but you'll see before it'll slow down. Point 0.4. Yep. So now we know that's perfect for doing light switches, plastic to plastics. Mm -hmm. But now if you need to do heavier, yep. what you do is change the bit to a yellow bit. And then you flick that to yellow. Basically it's yellow, yellow, red, red. So the bit's nice designed to go more. Yep. So you, What's that designed to do now? This is, it'll do the same job, but yep. it'll go stronger. It's got a lot more torque in this one. So as you can see in the particular brochure here. Are we talking 0.6 newton meters, one newton meter? This will go to one newton meter all day long, but it'll also go to five. Okay. So if you're going to go in and then turn it manually with the torque driver, yep. adapter, then you use the yellow bit. Okay, perfect. So the red bit is without the torque driver adapter, the yellow bit is with the torque driver. Okay. So if you saw that go there before, that's stuck at point 0.4. Four, yep. So I thought you were testing me then, make sure I'm paying attention. No. See the difference? That was the difference. I'll do that again. Loosen it off, because it's you actually do need to see it. 0.4. On. Yep. Stop. Click the button. Bear in mind where it stopped. You see where it stopped there? Yep. And I'm not telling the manual this didn't the drill's doing it. Uh, that's the difference okay. between that's point four the extra difference and one. So now that's you a nice can see representation of the difference between the Speedy and the Speedy Two. That extra power there is just in the Speedy Two. That is what makes this a dream okay, compared to the normal. But if you notice, when we did the switch over and you switched it on, mm -hmm. as soon as you switch it on, it'll flicker. Just go, see? Yeah. That's to let you know if you've written point four, it doesn't flicker. Oh, smart. See the okay. difference? So what's in is, well, hold a second, you're okay, but if I did that now, and did this, and then put that under there, it lets me know. Just some visual know, cue to say, hey, you're I on think this You've setting. got the wrong end in here. Ah, okay. You can still use it, yep. but it's just, it got the jail clause. Okay. So now, yellow one in, we're up to the job, and literally, loosen it off, on, 
this is on one newton meter you can see the difference yeah and then what you can then do is manually if you hold how you get to use to speedy if you hold the switch like that you can actually use a ratchet do you hear the whir yeah that's me doing the ratchet i don't know if you can see that Harry. that's me doing the ratchet i would just hold it like so i hold it like that so keep it like that on the job literally can I just confirm something because I've, something came back from, what, with the Speedy One is that has no negative impact on the motor whatsoever, no. does it? No. Okay. Won't damage the motor at all. It's actually, that's cut the ratchet part of it. But a lot of people, even on Speedy One, didn't realise it was there. It is there. So I remember people sending videos into us and saying, "Hey, here's how I'm using it. I'm not sure if this is." Yeah. Damaging the motor, I'll but just, I can ratchet with yeah, this. Yeah, it's designed to do that. that okay. Like I said, I always hold speedy like that, just because I've been used to it for so long. Yep. Whether I'm doing this all day, but that's what I do. As you can see 0.4. You can see it's not anywhere near as strong yeah, as yeah. that one. If you listen. I could do that now and stop it. Okay, perfect. So you I keep the motor really switched nice on and keep doing tip. that. It's a lovely tip for it. Yep. It just makes life a lot easier if you have got an issue with cartel tunnel. Now, because of the situation right at the moment, I haven't touched that end. Yep. If you just want to, maybe it's something I tried earlier. You want to try? There we go. Just want to feel yourself how it works. So that's a, I want to loosen, loosen it, it off it. first. Yeah, loosen it, loosen it manually, that's it. See where you took the torque? Oh, can you can feel, help it by yeah, I can loosening. actually feel the difference now. Feel the difference? Yeah, it's got a lot more... A lot more torque. Yeah, got a lot more oomph to it. But how you can tell, if you just take it out there now and just push it into here. Yep. And let it do the one you'd meet and just feel it when it stops. The difference in the torque. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did it, you see it's that? that. Okay, that's cool. That's the difference. Outside of that, anything else that people need to know about in yep. terms of the Speedy 2? As you can see, it's the difference. Yeah, that's cool. The light. Whereas before, a lot of people said, like the idea of the light, the problem being was, you don't mind me showing you here, it shows a shadow. Yep. With Speedy 2, it doesn't show a shadow. Yeah, okay, perfect. It's a lot, lot better. brighter. They haven't changed the battery. The battery is still the 18500. Oh, that's an interesting one. So if someone's got the Speedy 1 today, they can buy the Speedy 2 and use the same batteries. Yes, yeah, same battery. Okay. You can buy the same battery. We sell the batteries in pairs. Yep. Because it's always nice to have a pair to change them because you just change one, then you don't know which one you've changed. Yep. But yeah, it's exactly the same as the Speedy 1 battery. And like I said, with that particular thing there and the switch, the rest of it is the same, except the way it's lit. A lot heavier as you can appreciate. Yep. But one thing I wanted to show you also was to do with if we do an MCB in the ratchet on the torque driver. This particular one here is two newton meters. Mm -hmm. This is the adapter, the torque adapter, which you can buy in 0.8, 2, 2.5, 2.8, and 4 newton meters. Mm -hmm. That covers the range. Bear in mind this is an accessory, so it hasn't got a calibration certificate with it, not like a torque driver. Has. Yep. So it goes in the same end of before on the job. When you come to do this, is the one I've got here. It may not be the one that's used popular, but if you pull it back, you can see it opens up a lot, lot quicker than it used to. Yeah. It's a lot quicker, so the guys who are doing these all day long will see a noticeable difference with Speedy 2. Saving time. Yeah. But on this one, I've actually used the correct end, which is, yes, it's uh, change it for the camera so it's on yellow it's on yellow so we know it's going to stop at one newton meter it's got the adapter in so basically what happens now is keep the motor switch on like so loosen but yep. when you loosen it you put the motor on and then loosen it yourself so you put the motor on giving it a little bit of torque yourself yeah and then, and then letting the, the motor catch up okay now would you like the wipe it again with your wipe and have a go, possibly? Yeah, let's have a go. Can you wipe it again with your sterile wipe? All right, so all I need to do is just tighten it up like normal. Yeah. Everyone knows I'm not a spark. That's got some force to it when that nips up compared to the number one. 
So if I wanted to tighten that up pay myself, the, pay I them can... manually. I can... Keep the, the switch going. That's it, you can feel the ratchet coming ah, back. That's clever. The difference. That's why a lot of people didn't even realize version one had that. It just makes that's life. That's fast. Yeah, that's loads faster. I'm not a spark, I can imagine that saves a lot of time. Yeah. Some of the guys that have already got this now are like, wow, what have you done? Oh, you know? I can imagine. So that's, that's, the, that's the difference on that one. All right, Tony, so I've, I've had a play. We've wiped some more stuff down. It's an interesting world we live in today. Yeah, it is, isn't it? What, what else is there from a Speedy 2 perspective that we need to talk about? Well, this is the new set we've got as well, which lets you show you what we can do with Speedy. This adapter goes in the end because it's a Slim Vario set. Yep. All these are classed as Slim Varios, which is what you've got in here. What you can now do, and you can actually do with the other one as well, but this has got a bit more power, you can turn this into a nut driver. Okay. So it's ideal for doing the small panels yep. or anything that you need to tighten the nut up with. Because you've got your one newton meter, you can literally go up there and then literally on the bottom there you can see it does up to eight newton meters manually. So you get on there, tighten the final. Okay. Go, happy days. Nice. So that's what you can do with that. All these interchangeable right down from 5.5. And the Speedy 5. 1 was interchangeable, but now because of the extra torque, it makes yeah. that yeah, I mean that's on there More now. applicable now. Correct, but you, you could actually use it on the old, on the old Speedy one as well. Which is when we talk about the new tool case. Yep. You'll see what we've done with the tool case just to save weight and have more tools. Absolutely to perfect. Way. Okay. It's only one more thing before we go. I won't manhandle the product, but this has been on the desk and I've never once seen this product in person. That's a Speedy, what indus is this? Speedy Industrial. Great Speedy Industrial. Industrial, yeah, because we designed Speedy predominantly for elect electrical work. Yep. And it's been fantastic. But what we've also found is um, a lot of companies want the facility to be able to have a restriction like the 4.4 newton meters. Yep. So what we did was yourself. we produced this, which is the same as this version one. Yep. Same idea, the same concept as the version one. The you body shape looks the same as the version one. It is, one. it's exactly the same. Um, it's a version one, as you can see the batteries fit. Yep. So same idea. But the difference with this one is, is this is how, the reason I want to show you, this is how the base version of Speedy comes now. You can still buy okay. this. You can buy Speedy 2. Yep. The base version one. And then add your own accessories on top Correct. of that. Compared so to if you set do, one, set yeah, two, So set if you three. don't want the Speedy 2, but you like the idea of a Speedy 1, you can buy that. But also, we do it in an industrial version, which is doesn't take these bits. If you look at the end, these bits here, it will go into there, so you can use it as, but it's not VDE certificated. Yep. What you can do now is, somebody mentioned on the forum the other night, about putting ordinary bits in. Yep. So what you can do with this, any type of Bosch or whoever make a bit you've got. I've just seen your own bits come out, haven't you? I just saw, I got an email regarding some We Are bits in a, in a, in a box. Are they new to No, we, we, we are, I'll show you later the, the bits that we do. We do thousands of different types of bits. Okay. But there's some unique parcels to it, so you okay, can use anybody's bits, bits like I said. Okay. This is a 50 mil, 25 mil torque. The same idea as for the demonstration before. So it's the same idea as this. What you can do is you can use normal bits in it. Got you, okay. Yeah, same concept, but it's classed for more industrial, say, say for instance, lathe machines, yep. technical machines that want the speeds, very, very fine screws, and they can use the Speedy for that as well. Makes complete sense. But this is what, how the Speedy basic will come. No L box, just a form. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So thanks very much for your time on the Speedy 2. Guys, hopefully you found that video helpful. If you want to get more information about the Speedy 2, check the description below. You can go and head over to Tool Talk and read some more reviews. And in the description, if we found a place for you to buy this online, that link will be there too. Enjoy the Speedy 2. I can't wait to hear what you think about it. See you later, guys.